So we were very fortunate in that um, our VP was involved with, or I'd heard about this, the book, The Children of Willis Dinling, and was involved somewhat with other administrators that were looking at this book to revisit our Holocaust studies because um, we, we didn't find that there was a lot of intentionality uh, to it and we recognized that our students had no concept uh, of the Holocaust. Some of them questioned if it was actually true. And they said, but that really didn't happen, right, Miss? And so we, we knew that there was a need uh, to be very intentional um, and teach the students about history because if we don't learn about history, we're doomed to repeat history. Uh, the professional development, we had an opportunity, um, me and my grade partner, where we were uh, able to watch the content that they'd created and how we're supposed to approach this and, and where we're really trying to uh, facilitate learning from the students. So uh, it focused a lot on uh, making personal connections for the students and making sure that it was a, a piece and it was a novel study that was going to be productive for them. We kept having all of these talks of really understanding values in their life and what they are really passionate about because just as Lisa was able to hang on to you know her music and learning the piano and pushing through we wanted our students to try to make that connection to their own lives um, what are they really passionate about what can they use to push them when they are going through hard times and just really play on that theme of resilience and strength and bravery. They were provided with different opportunities to explore their, their learning through different avenues, whether it be um, creating posters or visual pieces or reflecting upon things and uh, doing additional research and compiling that and relating it to the book. I feel like young people should learn about this topic so history does not repeat itself again because we would not like want to have World War three or four and we want to have another tragic incident like that. When Lisa and her uh, family were trapped in Vienna and uh, she had to go to the train, it's, it reminded me of when my mom and her family, they were uh, trapped in a concentration camp in Albania. So my mom said like she was very scared and that just reminded me of how Lisa was. Like you have to imagine like you're by yourself, like in a different country, you no, know, no food, no water, no money. So it's educational to see what people are always dealing with. Um, like back then. So I believe we are learning about the Holocaust so that we will, we can acknowledge this so that we don't make the same mistakes that the world made. I, in the, in the bus actually, she mentioned that no one did anything about it. So with the art piece, what we did, so we were supposed to draw um, what what identifies with us. And I, uh, I I like a lot of things. And I think a self-identity is very important, especially, you know, in this day of age, because we don't want to repeat history, you know, kind of go back on to, onwards towards that. What happened with the Holocaust, it, it should never happen again. And it wasn't a good thing. And I feel that learning it at a young age, it puts it in, a mi in our mind that it's not good and that we shouldn't hate people for who they are because we're all different and we should all accept that. So we continued the conversation around identity and initiated con conversations around racism, bias, fairness, discrimination, equity, prejudice. These led us um, to selecting text because when we know better, we must do better as uh, citizens of the world and our students will do that as well. So it's fostering critical thinking about social injustice and human rights, and it provides lessons from the past to learn for the present and the future. What is the message we're trying to tell them in terms of the darkest moment, one of the darkest moments in history? How do we sort of navigate that in terms of hope, resilience? So when we met, we went through each of the chapters and how we were gonna divide it, and we felt like dividing it into four sections um, would suit best. So the first one about becoming a refugee, then about persevering, and then ultimately triumphing and, and what does that look like. We each have a sticky note and we write down what we like to learn about the Holocaust and what we already know about the Holocaust. If you look here then it, it says a bunch of words about what the Holocaust is and some things to describe it. Um, the school puts that up so people can look at it and read it and educate themselves and, edu um, and understand it. I think he has like new vocabulary about the Holocaust, which is like more, like he'll help people understand it better and like make sure it never reoccurs. I think it's really important that 
We use what their experiences are to help them understand the themes of the book and make these personal connections where they understand more about the Jewish people, they understand more about the Holocaust, and, and they can use what they know already plus new information to make sense of this within their world.